Today we are making the most delicious and out of this world spaghetti meatballs for iftar. This pasta is such a huge hit in my family, everyone goes absolutely crazy over it and rightfully so. It's so flavorful, easy to make and believe me you are going to love this recipe. You want to first start off with half a diced onion, the remaining half we will keep on the side for the sauce. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't cry whilst cutting onions, over half an onion, I actually thought I hacked it but clearly not. We have our minced lamb and to that I added the diced onions, chopped garlic cloves and green chilli followed by fresh chopped parsley. Mix that together and then add in your seasonings which is just some salt, pepper and a hint of red chilli. Okay so you want to know my biggest pet peeve is literally when someone writes salt to taste in their recipes. What do you mean to taste? Seriously, what do you mean? It's honestly the worst. Anyway, back to the recipe, add in your cheese mix and then form your meatballs. I got around 16 meatballs from this exact recipe, but it became 15 in the end because, well, a pigeon came in and stole one. That's what I told my family anyway. Dust the meatballs with some plain flour and then you're going to fry them for around 15 to 20 minutes. This takes me a long time because I don't have a gas hob. Next is time to make the sauce. To a pan, add in the diced onion, some ginger garlic paste, four tomatoes, followed by some salt and pepper. And then you want to add in the passata. This stuff is so good. Do not use Use any bolognese sauce for this recipe, use passata. And this next ingredient is literally what gives it so much flavour, it's chicken stock cubes. Add in two chicken stock cubes and at the same time I boil my spaghetti. To the spaghetti I added in some oil and salt, add the meatballs to the sauce, add in your pasta water, I added in four big spoons and then let the sauce cook for 15 minutes. I honestly do not know the science behind why you need to add pasta water and normal water but believe me it makes a difference, add in the pasta water. And once the spaghetti is cooked, drain it and then add in the cook sauce to the spaghetti. I usually like to add the sauce first and then keep the meatballs at the top. And finally this is optional but I love to add in some additional cheese because I am such a cheese person and I think overall it completes the dish. The cheese mix I used was a combination of cheddar and mozzarella and that is our dish complete. It's looking so beautiful. I transferred everything over to a serving dish. So I've got the spaghetti at the bottom, the meatballs at the top and I usually save some sauce just to add on top while serving because it looks so pretty. And finally some fresh parsley leaves at the top for some decoration and colour. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm. It's so delicious guys, you need to try this recipe, honestly, 10 out of 10, so good. Mm. And that is it guys, that's how you make the most beautiful spaghetti meatballs. Hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments how it went if you decide to make this.